Radio RX 93.1, and um, is this it? Yes. Okay, it. so uh, we can actually um, actually talk and introduce to our very special guest this morning. Of course, we have a football superstar, Chris Chu! Great to be here, finally. We've been talking finally. about this for the longest time. We're trying to work it out, and finally it happened. And you know uh, you're finally it, in the Our Twitter booth. accounts are going haywire. They're crazy. <laughs> they're, they're, cra they're like, is it true that they Chris is there? Yeah, oh. they, but, well, if they knew, they would they would be here. They, they seriously want to be here to see you. Oh, I should have tweeted it earlier. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. So, like, very late. Yes. Right, right. Exactly. But everyone's just so excited. You know, even after the game last night, at least you you made it up. I know. Yeah, we Our finally um, right, we were able to bounce back because uh, we won the first game in the quarterfinals mm -hmm. against Ginebra. I mean, that was Wednesday. Then we wanted to close it out on Friday, but, but... then uh, unfortunately we blew a like a ten plus point lead, and oh. they won the second game, so it became one one. Right. And we had a knockout game yesterday. And the jam packed arena at the Coliseum, which we were lucky enough to win. So we're moving on to the semifinals right. against uh, San Mikofi, another crowd favorite team. So it's right. gonna be. Yeah. I, I just have a question for you. Like, yeah. is it, do you still get nervous? Like, whenever you, I mean, is it is it a whole lot different when you're just like you know playing a pickup game or whatever? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm sure it is, but like, can can you maybe like describe to us just how different it is? You know, when when the game is this important. Well, there's always pressure, and I think uh, the good thing about it is that it, it really, you know, brings out the best in you. You, know, you, you really make sure that you prepare well, mm. and you're physically and mentally, and even emotionally uh, prepared, prepared for, for a it. game. Yeah. Uh, and you're focused. You know, you, you clear your mind from any distractions. Right. Um, I think that's part of it, and that 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 and that, that includes um, being a little bit nervous during the yeah. game. and that's normal. That's normal. But uh, even if I've been playing for so many years now, since. Um, high school and then in the UAEP yeah. in Ateneo, yeah. where you know where the, the gyms are always packed also, especially right. when you play against La Salle, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it it's, gets, like that. it's not just packed; it gets really uh, heated. Heated, heated yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. the right word. So uh, now in the PBA, um, somewhat like that as well. Yeah. Uh, a different kind of, of, um, of being heated. So. Um, but still fun, still a lot of fun. So. May, may age limit, Ben, because si Chico is actually a really good basketball player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, 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 he's very, I know, eh, he's thinking of trying out. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's some guys, some of my friends are like 39, 14, still playing. May older than that. May older than that. May older than that. But may older than that. I have a question. Yeah. People still like, you know, friends have yours. Do they still invite you to play? Like, you oh, know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just have to be really careful. Be careful not to injure yourself. Yeah, because if you get injured outside of oh, yeah, because yeah, like you have a contract. Yeah. Hello, name of Barcada. Muna alam mo rough maglaro. You have to be careful. Right? You pick your, your games also. Do you have like a, a sport that you like to play outside of basketball? Oh yeah, I like uh, I love playing golf. Oh, oh, it's, it's okay. a bit more uh, laid back, you know, more relaxed. And it's not a contact sport. No, not too much. You know, just uh, you relax don't... and you play against yourself. It's more no. of a mental game. You don't dribble the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Do you have a superstition when you play yeah. a game, especially a championship game? But do you use the same? Is like, there something you do? Uh, <laughs> special sneakers? Uh, well, that's what they always ask. But uh, for me, what I mind. It's a free throw. You have a number of bounce before you. Usually, yeah, matter. It's a routine. Like it how many bounces? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just it out. Oh. When I just keep bouncing it until I feel comfortable. Ah, there's no and, like number. Iba kasi number talaga, meron talaga. But for me, it's just uh, well, I just dribble maybe four or five times until I feel comfortable and and mentally I can sort of imagine the ball going in the ring now. And then, and then I shoot it. Yeah. But usually you're supposed to have a a routine. Every time you step on the free throw. Wala mga like lucky socks or something. Or... Um, wala naman. Wala. <laughs> Before I used to, but then, you know, they don't really last that long. Because <laughs> we were asking Kiefer when he was here. Uh -huh. So, I mean, yeah, he's not superstitious, but there's this one sneakers where, sneakers that he wore and they lost the they game. They lost the game. He so never wore it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, 
Uh, there was there was a time when I uh, I had the sneakers that I, I when I they used and then I pulled my hamstring, so I, I didn't use it again. Make uh, it again. Make it again. I mean, I just make one of them as much as possible. Uh, I mean, if you have other sneakers, something that you could use, but you know, yeah, no, why it's, not? It's, it's, uh, something that you know, it's stuck in your mind that I put my hamstring wearing this. Like like a typical ano ba pair? How long does it last? Oh, for me, medyo ano ako eh, medyo um, naingit ako sa sapatos eh. And maybe it can last me about you know, two, two, three months. Oh, really? Right. Oh, wow. Considering we play every yeah, day. Yeah, every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, play every day. Right. Every day. Wow. Yeah. And we play about two, two, three hours a day. What, what, what's a normal day like for you anyway? Like, I mean, what do you do? Like, the minute you get up, was it, is it like a... Uh, do, 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 do you train a god? I mean... Yeah, now in the PBA, I have a more fixed schedule. We practice every morning. Right. So, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm used to waking up early, but not as early as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> not like 5 a.m. You know, 5 a.m. Oh, what, what time do you start your day? Around, I was up around 7.30, and then uh, I'm, I'm in the gym by... 8.45 or 9 and then uh, we, we have our individual work, our skill work, you know, right. with coaches and then uh, Coach Yang, Coach Yang Yao, yeah. because I play for Rainer Shine now, he's our head coach, come in around 10 o'clock and then we'll start the official practice until like noon time. And then what time does your day end with training? Um, we, we finish our court practice at, at noon and then there are days in the week like maybe two or three times in a week where we have weights training right. also, that's separate from the core training because we have to Strength. lift to, yeah, to get stronger yeah. and bigger but, and more physical. Yeah. And you know, I think that's a myth eh. Unless you really lift like like, like, like Yeah, like you want to be a bodybuilder. Yeah. Like, and then, super like, bulk up. Oh, uh, you know, man, you really need to lift also to get stronger. But then after, of course you have to, you have to shoot also but right. uh, you know, you still get you always, rhythm, like, as, as a kid, did you always just play basketball? I mean, is it something that you eventually just thought about the parang okay when I grow up I want to be a basketball player. Uh, you know, surprisingly, no, I never thought I would become a professional basketball player. I, I always thought that I would just play until you know, from when high when I was in high school I thought yeah. like in high school down. Oh. and then I got recruited by by Ateneo and yeah. even LaSalle. and yeah. then so I said okay let's let's try it out. This yeah. sounds like fun. So I said okay, hanggang uh, dunalang kasi I came from a uh, Filipino Chinese family usually when you graduate from college, you know, business. Business right? yeah. uh, So I thought it was until there and now. But so happened that when I graduated from Ateneo in 2008, they were building this national team program mm. called the Smart Vilas program, where yeah. they were getting amateurs to represent the to country. Represent the country. Yeah. Said, you know, play for the country. Why yeah, not? It's always been my dream. Right. Yeah. yeah. To have the Filipinas in your last name. Uh, uh, something that I've always dreamed of. It's so cool. But you know what, that's actually another thing that, um, you know, um, parang when, when you did say that parang when, when you coming from high school and then when you entered college. Um, Most Chinese families would be into business, yeah, diba? Yeah. But you are an entrepreneur. Also, yes. I have, I have some of my um, uh, businesses. I think one of the more uh, popular, popular ones is Happy Lemon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. a re refreshing Happy drink uh, slash the tea uh, shop. And we have about 15 branches now. In Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it just started two years ago. Two years ago. 2010. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, Our first ago. branch in Green Hills Promenade opened in November 2010. Now, now one of the other things that you're just more known, known for, for. Is, is the fact that, you know, you're a basketball player, you're exemplary with your studies, obviously you're good looking. <laughs> I, I can't believe I said that. It's so awkward to look. <laughs> no, but I mean, how do you balance all of, I mean, obviously the good looking part, you don't have to balance anything because that's just who you are. But like, you know, with the studies and, and the basketball, I mean, I know, I know for a fact that practice can be really, really taxing because like, I've had friends who were in varsity and like, their grades really suffered because like, you know, they would have to wake up early and then train and then you know, they, they have a hard time balancing it. So how did you do it? Yeah, that's, that's very true. You know, um, you just had to, I had to sacrifice a lot. And I have to admit, when I was in college, I practically didn't have a life aside from basketball and, and school. Right. right. Yeah, it's just uh, every day, even in between classes during breaks, I would be studying in the library. Or taking power naps uh, in, in my dorm just to recover, and then after after school, I go straight to practice. So it was tough, but uh, you had to make the sacrifice. And um, but look where you are now. It, it paid off. It's like but, an investment hey. for me. And also, most people think you know you're a you're a basketball player, you're an athlete. Your your ac academics will suffer, but you didn't let that happen. Well, it, it actually 
did a bit. I mean, I could have probably gotten higher grades if I was just a Grab it a a <laughs> But then, you know, in, in life, you know, you understand now that it's not always about just grades or just passion. Yeah. You have to be a person that I believe well, we have to be well around. Well, a lot of the other things that you're known for is an endorser. Right? And you are an endorser for Aura Care. Yes, yes. How, how did that happen? Like, how did they, <laughs> how did they uh, approach you for that? Yeah, it, it was funny because um, uh, they had to go through my brother uh, who planted a Aura Care bottle in my washroom. We shared a bathroom. We shared a room. And um, uh, the, the clients wanted to know if I really like the product. Yeah, because right. they didn't want an endorser who would be like. Uh, we'll just say that. Yeah, we'll just say right. that. But if I really, really use the product. Yeah. So, my brother put it there and said, okay, what's this? Okay. Uh, so I tried it out. He said, hmm. Um, it's, it, there's no sting. Yeah. It was um, very refreshing. And then it, it, it gave me fresh breath right after starting. Because, of course, when you're a basketball player, that's. Like <laughs> 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 The celebrities and mm -hmm. the, you know, the, so the maybe the man, 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 Everywhere. And you don't want to be known as the celebrity who's the yeah. So even for regular folks, I don't think anyone, whether you're a celebrity or not, would exactly. like to be known for not exactly. having good oral hygiene. Agreed. Agreed. All right, well, you know, you talked about this thing, you know. Because sometimes what we always talk about is what good is it if you need to, to gargle with it at least 60 seconds? Eh, ang sakit. You, you, it dissuades a lot of people from really doing can, it. You really can, yeah. right? That's one reason why I switched, you know. Before right. I, I tried the, the, the more conventional ones. Yeah. Yeah. And it really it burns my mouth. And then uh, aside from that, my aftertaste is good. When you eat, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. So parang you can't eat breakfast. Or you wall some cheeks, mo parang may film. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But a lot of, the, you know, I think the question in people's minds is, eh, kung walang sting, is it effective ba? Baka uh, yeah, 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 yun yung, yun yung misconception. Sometimes they think, kailangan may sting, may anghang para mamatay yung bakit. Yeah, parang it's the one that's killing the bakit. Yeah, well, apparently no. So it's not? Yeah, it's not. Well, Orca has this, um, I don't remember, like a chemical formula that, that, that actually kills the bacteria. Yeah. And it doesn't require to be stingy to your mouth. Right, right. So you can have it, you know, just as effective or possibly even more, parang, but without the sting. Exactly. Parang tubig nga lang siya. Actually, yeah. Actually, uh, yeah. No? Tubig lang, but then after, when you spit it out, mm, fresh ka na. Right. Ready to go. Ready to go, right? Ready to go. Ready to host, ready to play, ready to be an entrepreneur. Ready na maging ikaw na. Hindi kasi parang di ba, like with, with you, parang you strike me as somebody na... You'd really like endorse a product only because you believe, you believe in it. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I've had a lot of, uh, well, not a lot. There's some offers that I had to turn down. Yeah. Because um, it was something that wasn't in line with, um, with who you are. With like, what I was, and, and yeah, what you believed in. Exactly. Oh, Do you yeah. think, I think that, uh, that's something that ensures your believability and the product that you endorse? Because once that gets questioned, well, I don't know. Right. Ang lang ng style ng Aura Care, no? <laughs> <laughs> Nilagay muna sa alam. Speaking of style ng Aura Care, because, you know, are there characteristics that are sort of similar between you and Aura Care? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Before we end, uh, we know we have a lot of things to do. Oh, uh, it's okay. Um, we have time to my life. As long as I'm here in it, anyway. <laughs> uh, well, characteristics. I would say, um, fresh. Um, <laughs> So fresco ka. Hindi na man yung fresco na. Hindi yung just fresh, fresh. Fresh and uh, I'd say dependable, or reliable. Right. At saka you don't have a sting. No. Friendly. Yeah, this is what I was gonna say. You you don't look like, alam mo yung medyo, 
yung parang bruce ko you're gentle uh, but but you get the job done yes. diba so, that's what it is i didn't want to say that because i didn't want to say it kami na lang magsasabi kami na lang magsasabi but i'm just curious ha i mean uh, you know we've uh, we've met you personally and we see you uh, like on tv and you have this talagang image of parang unflappable you seem like such a genuinely nice guy what makes you angry <laughs> Makes me but I can imagine oh. you getting oh like but angry. Do you just... drive? Yes, I do. Do you get angry behind the wheel? Edge. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get angry, but you, know, you just have to contain your emotion. <laughs> of course, when a bus cuts you off. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when you, the bus cuts you off and you see your face behind it, you're like, oh yeah, I'm fine. You're like, no, no, no. Question, because uh, we have guests and sometimes we ask them. Have you ever been flagged down by the cops or MMDA? Yes. So, you did, have, once you yeah. roll down the window. Idol. What do they say? What do they say? Um, idol. So yeah, uh, next time, magingat na lang kayo. Pani naman ng jersey, Jen. Hey, you know what? Another question that I have is like, because oh, okay, um, it's it's just something else to be like an athlete. When when you're still in school and whatever, how 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 did you deal with that when you were? Because parang you know when you watch like teeny bopper movies or whatever, they always depict the the sports jock as like parang you, you know how like parang they're always picking on people or whatever. But oh. obviously you you don't look like the type. So how 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 was it like for you when you were in college? Yeah, actually, I, I I wanted to defy the stereotype of uh, jocks. So. Right. And ever since you know I developed habits even as early as high school, where I would you know I'd take that extra step. Um, to you know, to, to so that my teachers won't think that I'm you know a stereotypical yeah like job. a job bagger. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. I would make sure that I submitted all my requirements on time. I would prepare for exams. Right. No special treatment. No, spe no special treatment. Of course, unless there's like a game that's in conflict with an exam. Yeah, so so the, the professors would allow me to take the exam either before or after, but, oh. but more difficult now. Right. And they would they would give me that option. So. Oh wow! So it's 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 an odd. They they actually make it more difficult. Yeah, but, right. uh, but in school, in Ateneo, well, the students didn't really didn't really mind me. They, they had their own. Um, so, what are mga other mga mga students? Na para, Ay, oh my god, it's Christian! You know, 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 you no, no, not in the game. Ever? Not at all. Kahit naman, like during the game, oh, naman. Well, before in college, no. <laughs> <laughs> but now in the pro league, like everybody's like a friend now. Nah, in, in, uh, in all, almost all the teams, are all like we know each other. You know, we, basketball is such a small world, also. You can't right. like, each other. I bet, I bet the others trash though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, do they trash talk to you? Um. So far, what happened, man? So far, what happened? Why are you such a nice guy, Kasi? Parang parang magi guilty sila, no? Parang tatrak, wag na, wag na, wag na. Di ko natatrak. Pero tira tira ako. Pero ano? Pero ano? Pero ano? Mas mas physical yung physical. That's normal. That's part of the game. Kasi or bakak parang ayon nila magtrash talk sila, kasi once tinrash talk mo rin sila, may in love sila sa bangon ng bed mo. Wow. Much for spending some time with us. I know. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Please come back so that you know, like, we we'll have more time. When was it that we saw you in an event? That was you were like. Uniqlo, I think. Yeah, you that was. You guys hosted the event. Yeah, months and months ago. Months and months ago. And then we were like, Chris, you know, come over to the show. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That was in April. Or... Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I remember. It's about May. That was the launch. That was yeah. the grand launch. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, again, we would like to thank you for I coming know. over, waking up early. No, it's okay. And after our game, pa. After oh, our game. Actually, today is our day off because we had a game yesterday, and then we're playing on Wednesday for the semis. So we have a two. We have, today is a day off for us. Yeah. And then tomorrow we go back to practice. So oh, wow. I thought I was gonna be able to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I wake up early. I come here and do my rehab, my therapy, because I have some injuries also, and then I'll just try to take a nap later. Right. Wow. But before you go, we would like to present you with Nox. Nox. <laughs> well, it's, it's our Christmas gift to you. Yeah, it's, thank you. It's, thank you. 
It's the uh, best of Chico Delamar and Gino's The Morning Rush Top 10, Book 2. Oh, wow, thank you. And thank you. Uh, we hope just... that, you know, downtime, mo, you can laugh. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I was looking through it a while ago, yeah. and I, was, I didn't want to ask Nakia for it. It was hilarious. So I was going to get a copy and tama tama. Or so, no one time, pag tipong tinatawa kayo for the starting five and whatever. Dala 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 Friendly, flirty, and malentendido. <laughs> <laughs> you have know, something to definitely. Or do you drive now, or do you have a driver? No, I have a driver. Oh yeah, you can read it while you're on the road. Actually, yung 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 flirty, ano? Friendly, flirty, malende. Uh, kaming tatlo yun. Hula mo na lang which is which. Mas dang sa sabi ko lang yung share mo kanina mas malapit kay Chico. Yung nalaman niya dito dito dito. But thank you, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. And uh, hopefully you can come back soon. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe when you have a little bit of downtime. Okay. Not, not when you have like your games and all that. Yeah, we after we win the championship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the spirit. Can we hold you to that? So I know you can hold oh, to that. Yeah. And, and promise, pag nag guest ka, mag ora care mo na kami. To make sure that, you know, the conversations are very fragrant. <laughs> well, thank you again. Thank you again. Thank, thank you, Chris. Thank you so, again, let's all give Chris you a big. Woo!